Boom. So, September 10th. Um, today is Monday. I have two classes this morning. I'm going to go get a lift in at home. I'm going to probably try to get a five mile run in or so today. Um, I really might go back to a million pounds, like 40,000 pounds a day. That kept me so accountable with lifting, but um, I'm knocked that out and I don't really know what I have planned after that. Just going to lift, run, eat, hang out and probably go back to work. What's up y'all? So it is Monday. I'm checking in from the garage gym here. Just got done eating some breakfast. As you could guess, yes, bacon, eggs, and toast it was. Um, just real quick, guys, remember, Mondays should not be the day you hate, okay? If you hate Mondays, it is definitely time to reevaluate a lot of things going on in your life. I had a, plenty of jobs where I did hate Monday, and ultimately, I think that's what it boils down to. Like, if you dislike your job, if you dislike your current situation with work or how you get paid, you might hate your Mondays. Like, if you work a typical Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, whatever hours you work, even if it's third shift, whatever it is, um, you gotta reevaluate that. Like, life is too short. I know I'm saying this, I'm only 23, so, but I think I've figured that out pretty early on. I think a lot of people, it takes years and decades to figure out that um, ultimately, like, you're spending so much time in your life working and it should not be something you hate. I know some of you guys might say you're not in control of that. And I'm sorry to say, but I don't, I don't think that's the case. I think you are in complete control of your life. And I think it's just honestly an excuse that if you think you can't control what you do for a living, that's, I mean, you, no one, no one is forcing you to get in your car and drive to a job you hate besides like you are doing that yourself. So um, it might be tough. Like if you've been doing a certain job for so many years, I think that's what gets people is like they get so tied into the, oh, I get benefits and I get paid vacation and this and that. But it's like, yeah, but you hate the 40 hours you put in every single week. Is it worth it? Like, I don't, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I have a lot of life to live yet, so, um, but I just, I know something I've always done. If I don't like a job, then I immediately quit and move to something else. I don't want to say quit, but I immediately make a decision to leave that job as fast as I can to get a different job. Um, I don't know, like, I don't have kids. I don't have something like that that's really holding me down. I've, I've been in those shoes. I mean, I didn't just quit and just not work and was broke. I mean, I had to make ends meet, so I had to, I had to tough it out for a little bit, but um, honestly, I think me doing manual labor was like huge. Like I moved to Georgia when I was 18 years old and did concrete work 70 hours a week, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. I would drive to work every day. So, I mean, I was leaving my house at 5.30 p.m. at night because I lived in Atlanta, outside of Atlanta, so traffic was crazy. Um, and I worked 7 p.m., hopefully got off at 7 a.m., um, we didn't get a lunch break. You ate on the go, so it was 12 hours. I'm sure that's illegal, <laughs> but um, yeah, it was like I worked with no lunch break. Like it was, you ate a sandwich on the go, you ate some almonds on the go, you ate an apple on the go, like whatever. You never sat down and just ate for 30 minutes or an hour. Like, and I think everyone should have to go through something like that because it sucks. Um, and it is what it is, but it's like that showed me like I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. Hell no, no way. Um, but I needed that taste of reality real quick to like really show me what I want to do and versus what people get. So, so a lot of those guys I work with, they've been doing it for whatever many years and it's like, they just accept, like you could see the taste of acceptance in them. Like they just knew this is what it was. And, um, and a lot of them are just miserable and grumpy. And it's like, you don't want to be that guy. You want to be happy. You want to come home to your family happy. All I know is I love what I do for a living. I love it every day. I wake up at 3 a.m. I wake up at 5 a.m. multiple days throughout the week and I don't I'm not dreading anything I never dread going to work like I look forward to it I'm, I'm happy I'm happy that I'm in a place where I can help change people's lives people allow me to do that um, I'm glad they trust me with that and they trust our company with that um, start waking up every day with the passion right What you doing, buddy? Yeah. Just keep going to town. All right, time for Remy to get his bath. He's been doing pretty good lately, so let's uh, hope this goes well.
Come here. You are dirty, dude. Yeah. All right, it's a little bit more intensive than I thought, so I'm gonna have to take him inside and really scrub him down. So this is not gonna go well, I can tell you that already. What's up, y'all? So I gave Remy his bath. Um, went not too bad. Started off a little bit rocky, but um, worked out well. I gave him one of his favorite bone treats, which one of these. Um, I am pretty bougie with Remy. I buy him only healthy, like no, I don't give him none of that BS you buy at Walmart, Dollar Store, he doesn't get any type of those dog treats. Everything I buy is from the store Pet People, which is uh, right next to Orange City. It's all, it's like a Whole Foods for dogs. So, no preservatives, non-GMO, that's all he eats. He eats better than I do, honestly. So that's the only kind of treats I give him. So if you try to come over and get my dog a roll hide or some pepperoni, forget about it. Ain't happening. Um, but anyway, now you can see he's running around like a madman. Every night before you go to bed, you should be looking at yourself in the mirror and asking, is what I did today gonna get me to where I wanna be tomorrow? So ask yourself that question every night. Be real with yourself, because no matter what happened that day, you are looking yourself in the eyes every single night, and you have to keep it real with yourself, all right? So every day I wake up with a purpose, every night, ask yourself, is what I did today gonna put me where I wanna be tomorrow? So if it goes to lose weight, and you ate a large pizza, and a 10 pack of cinnamon rolls before bed, you ain't gonna lose no weight. Yo guys, closing out the night here. So, just got home from work. I did three classes tonight, um, felt really good. I was fueled up. I actually tried this new protein bar thing. I'm gonna, it's not, I don't wanna even, it's not a protein bar, but um, it's like an energy whole organic bar thing. So, I'm gonna find another one to post that on here. So you guys, it was actually really cool. It only had like, six ingredients and they were all straight up just fruit or oats, flax seeds. Like it wasn't, there was no acid, no word you couldn't pronounce. It was all food grown in the ground. So um, really tasty. So I'm gonna put that on here because that's always cool to find um, little hidden gems like that. So anyway, Morgan's here cleaning up the house while I talk to a camera. Say peace, Remy.